Hey, I'm Camille and I'm here with our nutritionist Sarah and Chef Dave. There's a lot of mystery behind fish and we're going to demystify right now. Awesome. Sarah, what's the deal with the farm raising as opposed to the wild? Why are we so concerned about that? Wild, wild, because it's from nature. Like, fish aren't, don't belong in a farm. Right? And well, one thing that I learned recently was that farm raised fish are in these little tanks yeah. and they're all drinking and eating each other's excrement. So we kind of want to stay away from yeah. fish excrement. I mean, that might happen in the wild a little bit, but probably not, not so to much. the extent that like that's their main food source. Yeah. Um, but we're talking about fish today because it is one of the great paradoxes of the health conscious kitchen. On one hand, it is so healthy. Like when you're looking at white fish, it's really lean protein, so rich in minerals and vitamins and nutrients and just all good stuff. But people aren't cooking enough of it. As Americans, we're eating like a third of what the rest of the world is eating in terms of fish intake. And it's, it's we're just intimidated by it. Why? Why are we? Well, I recently diagnosed Camille with fish phobia. <laughs> and she has fish phobia for a lot of reasons that most people do. Mercury, overfishing of the seas, it's going to make my kitchen smell, what do I do with the bones? All of these things are an issue. Exactly. So I, I think that the most important thing with cooking fish, first of all, is picking fresh fish. So what you want to do is when you see your fish at the grocery store, you want to ask your, your fishmonger if you can actually smell it. Now I know that might sound a little bit odd, but you want to really pick it up and actually give it a little <laughs> sniff. Oh. Now, if it smells like the ocean, you're good. Then it's fresh. If it smells a little bit like, sorry. If it smells a little bit like Chinatown in July, and those of us from New York know what that means. I, I say that that's ocean. The other thing is you want to ask them, when did the fish arrive? And if they say anything but today, cook some chicken. And one other tip to remember is never buy fish on Sunday because nobody gets fish deliveries on Sunday. Other than maybe Nobu and La Bernadette. And I do recommend doing your fish shopping there. But if you can't do that, then no fish on Sunday. Okay. Is it the same rule then for sushi? Don't yeah. eat sushi on Sunday? Exactly. Okay. Mind blowing, that's, right? That's, right. that's why it's so cheap. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we've got our fresh fish that doesn't smell like fish, smells right. like ocean. Now what do we do? So I'm going to recommend poaching the fish. Okay, so there are so many healthy ways to cook fish in like a, it, short of frying it and like, like deep frying it, like pretty much every method is healthy. Why are we going to poach? Well, first of all, poaching is the most healthy and we're focusing on health today. But another reason is that poaching will not stink up your apartment. So. What you're gonna do is take a six ounce piece, similar to one of these, and you're gonna poach this in your poaching liquid for about seven minutes. So we have some What's water- What's a poaching liquid? Well, we have some water that's boiling. And to that, we're gonna add about half a cup of white wine. And the amount of water that you want really is just enough to cover the fish. It's not really crucial. If you don't do white wine, is there another alternative? You can just do water. The white wine, the white wine, the acidity of it will bring out the sweetness of the flesh of the fish. Like strawberries and champagne? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, then you want to add some bay leaves. And then I like to add some sliced red onion. That's also to taste. It's just going to add a little bit of a bite to it. So I, I'm doing about a quarter cup. That's what I would recommend. Okay, and then I like to add some citrus. Um, we just happen to have some orange and some lemon, so I'm going to add these into the poaching liquid. And I imagine that also does something for the sweetness of the fish? Of course. It flavors the liquid, the liquid flavors the fish. Yeah. So exactly. you're just going to want to take your fish fillet and gently place it in, put the cover on, and then you're going to let that poach for about six to seven minutes. Now we're going to take our magically finished poached fish. Look at that. And I think that there's two really great ways to dress it. First of all, you want to give it some nice salt. Just sprinkle that on Yeah, there. from the nutrition side, don't be afraid of salt. There, are, Our bodies are well equipped to, to process salt. It's when you get it from like Doritos that it, it doesn't go down as well. But Dang. fresh salt kind of works. And then, excuse me, I have, I think that there is really two nice ways to do this depending on what you're using it for. If it's just a night at home and it's just you, 
or just you and maybe one other person, you want to be quick, you don't want to get too super fancy, you can buy a nice balsamic glaze like this one, or you can actually make a balsamic glaze just by reducing regular balsamic vinegar by about three quarters. So you just drizzle this on, and there you have a really delicious meal. Um, if you want to get a little bit more fancy, if you're having guests over or friends, um, you can make a little Campari glaze, which I like to make, which use um, one part Campari and about half of a lemon, just squeeze the juice in, and two parts olive oil. Can you get just, drunk off of that? Um, hopefully. <laughs> and you just stir it up and just pour it over the fish. And um, there you have the fish. And stay tuned for our next segment.